Okay, so coming up in, um, from the very beginning, we have the Hierophant, which does indicate religious um, revelations. And especially, um, especially if you're look, it can deal with religion or it can also deal with spirituality. And I feel that with the seven energy underneath it, seven is also a very spiritual number. We have the seven of pentacles and it does indicate somebody that is, um, somehow religion and uh, finances are linked up together. Okay. That's what I'm sensing here. So a lot of you might be like a, um, a member of the clergy. I don't know if you watch this, but um, or a lot of you might be, you know, in a profession in which there is a religious or a spiritual um, uh, hue to the type of work that you do, and you're reaping um, material comfort from this um, from this job, and you might ha be having second thoughts here. This is a card of um, taking a step back and taking stock. Okay, it's not a bad card, but um, it might you might have like um, a situation in which you're looking at the ways in which you're making money, if it is clearly tied in with the uh, religious or any type of spiritual, you know, um, practices, then you might be feeling if you're doing the right thing. So there is a little bit of an identity crisis, but I don't think it's a major, um, it's a major energy, but I feel that you, you might, some of you might feel a little conflicted about doing it or pursuing things in this manner. Um, the only thing I would say is, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're giving back to people who are less deserving than you are, okay? So um, if this is you and you're in a situation where you're, um, you're questioning your religious beliefs or you're having any type of a revelation regarding the ways in which you earn money, if it is in a profession or in any type of um, work environment that involves spirituality or especially in um, religion as well, just know that the financial gains coming to you needs to be balanced out with the karmic um, gains, okay? So you have to give back what you earn is what I'm sensing here. And in order to do that, you're going to have to um, really open yourself up and find out how it is that you, like, in what ways your abilities and your skill level or even your financial windfall can be used to help those that are in in need like emotionally financially or physically in need how you can contribute to alleviate um, the symptoms of society and also how you can project yourself into the outer world and how you can help those that are marginalized or those that are less fortunate than you are okay so I feel that it's going to bring you a lot of um, a very peaceful resolution at the same time it's going to um, alleviate a lot of that inner conflict that you have with Within yourself okay so let's go through the rest of the month and one of the most troubling energy that I do sense is um, not troubling in any way but there is definitely somebody coming back from the past okay and you're warned you're warned about guarding against this person but you're not taking enough um, you're not listening to your intuition about this person and this person is in the reverse position as a king of cups they could this could be a water sign that you've dealt with in the past okay and what i do sense very strongly is um they're they're up to their old games and you're um you're forced to confront them this month however you're not um you're not being discriminate enough and you're falling i guess you're you're getting soft whenever they're around like in their presence you just you you lose all sense of rationality and you're not on the um defense enough about this person he or she is showing up in the reverse position, so I would say they have not changed a bit. So if you're hoping to, you know, for a newness in rekindling that romance, you are headed for a very big disappointment, okay? So be very careful about this. The earliest time that they will change is in, um, let's see, in November. But right now, they have not changed. They're back to their old ways, and they're trying to reel you back in in a very deceptive way. So be very careful about how you approach this situation. I feel at the same time, a lot of you are unable to forget this person and unable to sever ties with this person, mainly because of the history that you have. You have a very long history. You've been through thick and thin with this person, and yet... Um, 
it can be a relationship like a romantic partner or it can be somebody that um you had a very strong emotional bond with and you've been through so much together so it's um it makes it very difficult to sever them from your life okay and um i do feel that um in a way like spiritual um like the your spiritual path is very aligned with theirs so you feel that either way like no matter where you turn you both tend to cross paths a lot so you feel that as almost as if it's faded but um you know i don't really believe in destiny and faith i do um i do believe that you know we have free will and we can choose um the direction to steer our life course there are definitely lessons that we can learn from each year but ultimately we forge our own destiny that's what i truly believe and the energies involved might influence might help you or you know hinder your path but at the same time you do have free will and what you choose to do would be um it's up to you to fully engage and make decisions and live your life however i do sense that you know the energy that is coming in is this um just because someone keeps crossing your path does not mean that you are fated to be with them okay so change your paradigm when you're dealing with this person from your past that you can't get rid of just because you have a long history together just because you feel like a very strong emotional connection and just because you feel very um very connected to them kind of like a a, a past life connection or even like a, a very spiritual connection I don't believe that um, it's deceptive in any way. Those things might be true in the past, in your past lives, but um, the way they're coming up in this lifetime, it's as much about letting go as it is um, about like believing in faith and having that spiritual awakening in which you feel that things are faded, okay? So you have to re-examine your framework um, in how you've dealt with this person from the past and um, move on forward because they are only going to disappoint you again and they're not going to give you you know um, the honesty the the uh, dignity and I guess um, in any type of a relationship in which you're dealing with this person I don't feel they're going to give you an honest response and they're they're not entirely to your benefit okay so in the process of um getting involved with this person i feel that um your finances are going to be drained if you choose to take that route i don't feel many of you are i don't feel many of you are going to um, rekindle things or you know reconcile with this person and um if anything you're very focused on your finances okay your work and your finances that's where you're leaning in this situation and i do feel greatly if this person ever comes in they're going to disrupt you from your life's path so really try to um really try to mitigate the effects by not even interacting with them in the first place because you might be tempted to let them back into your life and then they're going to um they're going to abuse your trust once again so be careful about this okay um so aside from that one hiccup everything else looks very very positive okay um i know that march wasn't the best time but i do feel that if okay so let's look at um so finances finances looks plentiful i know we have this troublesome card where it does indicate poverty but um i would say it's more poverty of the mind and it's more about um knowing your roots knowing where you come from so this is not going to apply for all of you but i do feel that for some of you who might have grown up in poverty or who might have like uh, felt very deprived this is definitely a month for you to really be appreciative of the things that you have in your current situation so that um, it will spark you to help those that are less fortunate than you, okay? I do sense a very strong spiritual awakening with this card coming in so early on in the spread and in the month. I do feel that um, for those of you who have like an impoverished background, if you come from like a very um, financially unstable environment, um this the 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 way in which you've lived before is going to trigger a lot of the i wouldn't say trauma in the immense sense but um this anxiety you have about money is going to um 
cycle back in for this month. And um, the only way I would say is that the only thing that I can say about this is um, if it is in your past, I feel that um, you're placing so too much emphasis on how finances affect you on an emotional level. Okay, because I feel that um, I feel that the situation itself was rough. Okay, I'm not going to discredit that, but um, a lot of what you're feeling is not really financial instability, but rather emotional instability. So if you can look at it this way, um, it's not the lack of finances, but it's mainly the the emotional ties that you have to money, where a lack in money destabilizes you emotionally so I hope this makes sense but it's a very complicated issue and the root of the matter is not the the, the lack of having enough money or the lack of money but rather how you feel about money so you're using money as a source of emotional security so um, coming on early in this month this is a very good month for healing when it comes to these issues from the past and especially to change your perspective when it comes to finances and when it comes to how you find emotional fulfillment okay because money and uh, emotional instability are greatly indicated by these um t this card and it can also um be associated with like a lack of self-esteem due to um lack of money so you might feel that oh you know growing up poor you it you suffered from you know low self-esteem mainly because you feel like inadequate you feel out of place and you don't feel that um you measure up to the people in your midst that might be more privileged so if this is something that you're dealing with um you're going to actually recover from this and overcome this issue once and for all for this month okay so it's kind of like a spiritual awakening it does bring up a lot of uncomfortable issues that we are unable to deal with from our past but um everything else looks so positive so this is a chance for you to really re-examine what it is that give um that boosts your self-esteem and that boosts your um that boosts your self-confidence because i really don't feel that it is at the root of it is not about the money but it's that um money gives you the emotional and the self-esteem boost therefore it is a means to an end and it's not an end in itself so don't be a slave to money okay you're going to have to break out of this framework and this paradigm in which you've um, associated with money in the past all right and it's going to be a groundbreaking a very um it's going to require a little bit of spirituality in order for you to achieve this and at the same time i would want to emphasize as well this is a card as well of low self-esteem okay and for those of you who are dealing with this i feel like a majority might be for those of you who are dealing with like self-esteem issues that is greatly tied in with um like an ex-partner or somebody that you really care for who have not been um who have rejected you or who have like done you wrong in the past i do feel like all these self-esteem issues are coming up because they're trying to um, reconnect with you and they're trying to um, reconcile things with you but they're not going about it in a very honest and open way um, they're coming back in mainly for themselves not because they feel they did anything wrong so I would really suggest that um, you might be going through a dip in self-esteem this person happens to be there so you might go ahead with this mainly because you feel down in the dumps um, I would strongly advise against that, mainly because you are worth more than this person ever um, than this person ever acknowledged. Okay, so don't resort to the same type of behavior in which um, you need another person to validate your self esteem and your self worth. Okay, so um, I know this is like um, this is like things from the past, and it's especially like childhood type of conditioning that you're definitely going to be able to overcome and bring to light and heal from for this month. So don't deprive yourself of this opportunity to heal from this emotional baggage, on from this inferiority complex, or from this you know financial situation that you've been dealing with for quite some time. I would say it spans like years and decades as well so this is something that is coming to light so that you can deal with it get to the root of the problem 
rather than using somebody as a distraction for you to face this problem and to get the proper healing and to come to terms with it so that you can move on to a prosperous future because everything every <clears throat> excuse me everything else looks really tremendous and especially we have this card of completion in which financial worries are finally finally behind you okay so um, I would definitely say the spiritual awakening is going to force you to reassess your the emphasis you place on money and material things. And I feel that a lot of you, um, I know that Aquarius are humanitarians, you know, at heart. And um, you, most of you do see that money is a means to an end, but some of you might not. I feel like a, um, majority, like a majority of you see money as a transient thing. You don't play thing. You don't place too much emphasis on it. But at the same time, you you want enough just to get by. So when the when the um, the I guess the stream of money turns to a trickle, you you get a little worried, and you do feel like uh, very anxious and nervous when you don't have enough okay so um for those of you who are placing too much emphasis on money financial gains in general at the expense of your emotional and spiritual um growth please be careful with that i feel that um those of those of you might be hit the hardest with this energy that is coming in so either way be very careful about this and also um when you have the abundance that you need, never forget where you come from and never forget that there are people out there with a lot less than you have. So it's very important to give back and it's very important to realize that there are other ways that you can give back. If you don't have enough financial abundance to give back to others, it is very important for you to devote your time, to devote anything you have at your disposal in order to give back so there are many ways in which this can work out just find a way that that suits you because i do feel that um you're growing you're growing in consciousness and you're going to be able to see and to like really appreciate all the fruitful things in your life and it's going to um it's going to tug at your heart when you see people who are suffering, when you see that people don't have enough, you're going to want to do something to, I guess, balance the social injustice, okay? So, um, which is a very great thing to do. So just know that you can do this in, um, in a way that doesn't um, disrupt your life in any way, okay? But at the same time, I feel that a lot of you two have worked really, really hard to get where you are today. So, um, Again, I would definitely say be discriminate about the people that you're offering your um, your help to because they are not always sincere, okay? If you're dealing with a person from your family rather than like a, a loved one from a past or a love relationship from the past, I would say be very careful about the intentions of this loved one. He or she might not be entirely pure-hearted and... Uh, they are taking advantage of you and especially your financial resources. They know that you have, you're have you financially abundant and they're coming in to reap the benefits of it when they have never been there to support you and nurture you through your times of need. So be really careful about this person. I feel that a lot of you might be like... Um, might get soft in the knees around this one really charismatic or very persuasive Um person but um i don't feel he or she is completely honest and if anything he or she might be a little pathetic in your eyes so you feel like okay i i should help because um the right thing to do is help but um i don't feel the person really needs help they're sitting back they're enjoying you know they're enjoying the the good things in life and they never lift a finger to like um do anything so they don't work hard at anything. So they have nothing. This is how the card came up. They don't really work hard at anything. They have nothing. And yet they feel entitled to come to you when they need something from you. So please be careful about this. I feel like a lot of you are not uh, realistic and discerning when it comes to this person. Okay. So um, yeah. Okay. So aside from that, let me see. Um. For those of you who are single, relationships, um, new, potentially, like, new partners, um, let's see, 
Yeah, the people around you and especially the people that are coming in will be very beneficial for you. And what I do sense is um, a lot of new relationships will open up. Okay, you have seven here. Um, I would say... I would say like be very careful too because um, what you see is not always what you get, okay? So trust your instinct on this one. Ask important questions. I don't feel that you're going to be... Um you're going to have a hard time asking questions, but I do feel that you are a little clouded in your judgment when it comes to other people, so be very careful about this when you choose potential dating candidates, okay? I would definitely say, too, April is going to be a very good month, okay? Um, April is a time for you to really rest and take stock and be really appreciative of your life. I feel that um, you are lying still but um there's a little bit of a smile in that so um things are definitely going to e going your way where you can just sit back and relax and um new opportunities will come to you the only advice is you have to really get out there and um seize the opportunities because you have a lot of new opportunities coming in but um the the energy tells you to sit back mainly because you are not entirely clear-headed when you deal with other people. So it's kind of like a screening process in itself to protect you, mainly because who, the people who are worth it will reach out to you. Um, not this person from the past, though, okay? It has to be a new person. Don't even go anywhere near that person from the past. But what I would say is um, if it's a new person, um, make them make them work a little bit. I feel that that it's in itself would be a screening process, and it's a very potent screening process for you, mainly because you might be clouded this month, okay? And you might a little impatient, might be a little impatient, and you might want to jump the gun, but um, be very careful. the The advice here is to take a step back and really re-examine your choices, and really re-examine like your self worth, how much you have to offer, and what each person can. Um, how each person can contribute to your life and how they can make you grow so or they how they can help you grow or hinder your growth okay so really assess this with objectivity and um the first part of the month is when you really have to like toughen up i i feel that you really have to hone in your power of discernment regarding other people um from the 15th to like the 20th, things are looking really good. You have a lot of communication coming in from people from the past, especially. So, you know, be discriminant. But I feel that the information is sincere. The first two weeks, the information is going to be insincere regarding this person. But the last two weeks, things are looking good when it comes to the re new relationships okay you're going to have like um a lot of um a lot of contact from other people new people especially too so let me see what else i've left out here okay for those of you who are in stable relationship i would definitely say this um the relationship looks very good if you're in a stable relationship that is um that especially like started this year those look incredibly stable and they look very good they look very um fulfilling emotionally financially on in every aspect okay so that's looking good um i feel like most of you might be single though i feel uh, yeah i feel very strongly most of you might be single um but however if you're in a stable relationship it, especially if you're you have a spouse the relationship itself might be a little rocky um, but you're coming to, you're able to resolve it this month and you're able to like see things from the other person's perspective. And, um, if you're dealing with a male or female, someone who places a lot of emphasis on money, you're going to, um, be able to help this person see money in a new way. Okay. Which is really, really healing energy because a lot of people cling on to money and material possessions for like emotional, um, security, um, which is a really sad way to live. And they place way too much em emphasis on like status, prestige and financial, um, financial and even social status, which is really sad. So you're actually going to be able to, um, change or shift their paradigm regarding money so and i would strongly advise you to do it because it seems like they they need to learn this okay um for those of you who are still um you know single i do feel that um 
you do have a lot of potential love interests in your midst that you're not aware of. But it's at the same time, um, if you let an, uh, an old partner back in, they might block all the new energies from coming in. So don't let that happen. And you're going to get a lot of favorable con communication, especially like... Um, um, phone calls and text messages and however you know you communicate um, you're going to get a lot of um, a lot you're going to get a very positive reception from the opposite sex or from you know same sex if those are the people you're dating but you're getting a lot of um, positive reception from people around you in general um, let me see if there's anything else that I've left out here Okay, so um, the work front, things are definitely looking good, but um, you are reassessing a few things about the work situation that you're not entirely happy with. You're going to find a very creative way to fix them, though. So um, it, everything else looks very, very good. The only thing I can say is don't let the ex back in. Don't let that person from your past where you've had like a huge huge falling out with you I, I'm pretty sure you know who that is don't let that person back in and especially you know take some time I feel like a lot of you really want to date again too for those who are single you really want to date again but um you feel that you have some healing that you need to do so then you're um you're like um blocking yourself from it which is fine you know we want to be healthy emotionally and physically in order to date but at the same time i honestly feel that um you're taking way too much time to heal up what it's telling me is you've taken a lot of time like four months for four weeks when in fact you only need like a, a third of that time so, and it also indicates to me like the last week in general a lot of new positive energy and new dateable people will come into the picture as well mainly because the way this card looks it's like the third week nothing happens and you know or you hear from the ex and it's forcing you to stay still whereas the the fourth week new people are coming in and you don't even need the time to rest at that time at that point and if anything you're not going to have that time to rest but you know new opportunities always come in at the time uh, on universal time rather than on our time so it's important for you to really embrace the new change and you know to um Recover from your slumber and overcome all your self self doubt and you know um, hang ups you've had in the past regarding your lovability, your worthiness, your sense of attractiveness, and your sense of um, you know deserving uh, of love. Okay, so it's a it's a very very healing month, especially for the first three weeks, and you're going to come across a lot of abundance. So I wish you all the best. I feel like this is going to be a very healing, soothing month.